You want to add plugins to a server in Minecraft 1.20.1. Now, there are tons of amazing plugins that you can check out, and we have 15 must have plugins linked for you here. However, first things first, you're going to need a paper server or a per per server. In the description down below, we have a link to this guide, which is how to make a paper server. But again, a per per server will work as well, and we have guides on that on our channel as well. But nevertheless, you want one of these servers because this is the server type that you have to have in order to get plugins. We've got a video, we've got a text guide, and yes, the video will be updated to 1.20 by the time this video is released, but you do need one of these servers. I already have one set up, as you can see, right here it is. And if you want to set one up the easiest and simplest way possible, check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash simple. At Simple Game Hosting, you can set your paper or purple server up with just one click. Literally, just select it during the checkout process, and then once you have purchased your server, it is set up and running on paper or purple, depending on what you selected. From there, it's super easy to add plugins. It can all be done using our panel, and you don't really have to download anything other than the plugins themselves. It is the easiest and simplest way to start a Minecraft server with plugins. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash simple to start your server again on paper quickly and easily and add plugins in just a few clicks. That's on top of us having an amazing help center and live chat support should you have any issues. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get our plugins added to our server, assuming you've already got your server set up either on Simple Game Hosting or locally. Now, as I said, we have this list here, which is 15 amazing plugins. We're going to download Essentials. We're also going to go ahead and grab World Edit because, well, that's just one of my personal favorites. And then we'll go ahead and grab something like, um, I don't know, what's a fun one here? player warps. Now Essentials here is, as you can see, not updated to 119 or 1.20 just yet. The reason I wanted to mention this is because just because the main page isn't updated, you might be able to get some experimental builds from Essentials themselves. How do we do that? Well, if we click download here, it will take us to this where we can see the developmental builds and these are all available for 1.20.1. So we want going to go ahead and click download for Essentials. We're also going to grab Essentials Chat and Essentials Spawn because those are my favorites. Now, something else that we will need is Vault and this is linked in the description down below. This is a plugin that's required for Essentials Economy to work. So scroll down here and click download. I do want to mention Vault's a little weird. It says it's not 1.20 compatible. It says it was last compatible in 1.17. But this is a very light plugin, and it is still compatible. Plugins are a little weird in that way, and sometimes some trial and error can be a good idea with a plugin. If there's a plugin that the reviews look good, everybody still says it's working and all that stuff. As you can see, 2023, this plugin works just fine on new versions. If you see stuff like that, it's okay to try plugins. Just know you may have to remove them and don't add a bunch of plugins from a bunch of different versions at the same time. Add one plugin at a time. Let's go ahead and grab World Edit as well. This is on Bucket, which is perfectly fine. Go ahead and click on File here. We want to make sure that we're downloading the 1.20.1 compatible version. Click Download File there. And last but not least, Player Warps, as you can see, is supported for 1.20 tested Minecraft versions. So click Download there. So unless, now we've got all of these plugins downloaded. We're installing quite a few plugins here, and that's a good thing. It's one of the good things about plugins. They're not as resource intensive as mods, and you can add a lot more on a lot smaller of a server. Nevertheless, you may also want Visual Studio Code. This is linked in the description, and this will allow you to edit your plugin files and plugin config files, and we'll check that out towards the end of the video. We've also got this link in the description down below, which is our complete guide on individual plugins, including Essentials X, including Player Warps here. We have so much stuff, even World Edit there is all covered, so go check this out if you do want to get your plugin knowledge up a level and see what other plugins are out there. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and add these to our server. To do that, you want to go ahead and move them from your downloads folder to your desktop. So and once they're on our desktop, we can open up our paper folder. Now, if you're on Simple Game Hosting, you will just simply add them to your plugins folder. And guess what? That's what we're going to do here as well. Just add them to our plugins folder. So open up your server directory. This is where all of your server's file is, your run.bat, your paper.jar, all of that stuff, and then just drag and drop them into this plugins folder, right like so. So now when we open up our plugins folder, we will see our plugins there. Now we can go ahead and start this server by double clicking on the run.bat file, or restarting your server on a server host like Simple Game Hosting, and then once things are started, we can check to see if the plugins are there. How do we do that? Well, we can use a command. We can also go in game, but I think it's cool that you can check this from the console without going in game. So let me show you what it looks like. As you can see, they are loading here, but there's also a command you can use, like I said. What command is that? Well, once the server is started, just type in plugins and boom, there you go. If a plugin is in green, it's working. If a plugin is in yellow, it's kind of working. Not all of it's working. Some of it is, and usually it sometimes means the important parts of the plugin aren't working. And then red means the plugin isn't working at all. The server recognizes it, but it didn't start. So those are your three different options there for colors. You 
want stuff to be green, not red or yellow. I'm also going to go ahead and launch up Minecraft and we can check these out in game. So here we are, Minecraft is open, the server is running. If we go into multiplayer, we can join the server right like so. And once we're in game, we can run commands around the server if you're opt. If I try to run slash plugins, it actually will work, but other stuff won't, like I can't set the time today. How do we change that? We may need to opt yourself in order to get full access to your plugins. So come over to the server's console, type in op, and then just enter your username right like so. When you hit enter, you're going to be made a server operator. And now you can do things like set time of day as well as change other settings around plugins. Every plugin is different with that, but it is worth noting. Now at this point, we can see that our plugins are working. How? Well, I think we should set a spawn in essentials. I think this is a good place. So we can do slash set spawn and then we'll just hit enter. And then now if we uh, fly over this way real fast or run over this way and then do slash spawn, we'll be taken back to that location showing that that is working. There's also so many more things that Essential adds in. For example, it adds in kits. So you can add in firework kits because why not? You can also check out player warps with slash P warp, right like so. And here it is. You can set player warps with P warp set. And then we'll obviously set this one to spawn. Right, like so. You need money to be able to add a player warp. We'll show you how to change that here in one second. And then, uh, was there another plugin we added in? I think there was. Oh, world edit. So we can get a world edit wand, right, like so. And then we can uh, do some world editing, like changing grass blocks with replace grass blocks with diamond block because that's what I always do. Boom. There you go. Looking good. So that's all the plugins working. How do you change your plugin? files though. Well, let's go ahead and close out of Minecraft. It's also recommended stopping the server for this. However, some plugins do have hot reload. So for example, you can do essential reload or essentials reload after making a plugin change and it will bring in most of your changes without having to restart your server. But if we go ahead and stop the server there, that'll just make things easier generally. Now let's go ahead, open up our server directory, go into the plugins files, and then here you go. You have all these folders for each individual plugin. Let's look at player warps here, and then we want to open up the config file. Keep in mind though, every plugin is different and Essentials has some different ones. For example, if you wanted to change kits, there's a specific file for that that you would need to open, right like so, and this is VS Code. So nevertheless though, let's go ahead and again use that player warps config file because we wanted to change money for setting a warp. Now one of the cool things here is that you can see everything's kind of color coded in a way thanks to VS Code and there's a lot of documentation. What is all of this about? What does each thing do? What does it all change? It's very well documented. Not every plugin is like that, but a lot of them are, especially the most popular plugins that are out there. Now what we are looking for here is things in regards to setting a player warp. So I'm just going to search for set here and then we're going to go ahead and find the setting to where we can set this. We could also search for 500 and here we go. The set price for setting a warp is 500 means that's negative one to make it free to set a warp. You would save that, start your server, and now you're good to go. There are tons of stuff that you can change and configure with config files, so do keep that in mind when you're setting up your server. You can make it your own with these config files. But nevertheless, that is how that you can add in plugins to your Minecraft server in 1.20.1. Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comment section down below, and be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting, which is the easiest way to start a server with plugins, at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown of XYZ slash simple. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.